Welcome back to the sound for more channel. Today we are going to continue the journey in learning Cubases and we are going to focus on MIDI tracks and also piano roll. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so we are inside Cubases. We just click on new and we create a new project and we select create new. As you know, uh, by default, you have two tracks which have been created, a MIDI track and also an audio track. Now, let's click delete here, down, and delete again so we don't have any tracks. We click on plus again here, and then we press what it says MIDI so that we create a MIDI track. Now, as you know, if you click on the icon where um, you have the piano here, you can see the list of uh, uh, preset on the left hand side and it, it opens up Microsonic as default on the acoustic piano preset. We click here on the left to go up and then we click, for example, Neo FM to change the instrument. We go to piano and why not? Let's choose a baby grand piano. Next, we're going to close that and we're going to open the keys here so we can test a little bit that preset. Of course, I'm not playing properly. I'm just using my mouse at the moment. So let's close that um, window. So we have a, a MIDI track with Neo FM. It is armed for recording. You can see the red um, here. Um, symbol and you can mute and solo as we have seen in a previous tutorial but now let's record something so we bring back the keys again and let's click here on record to just record some uh, some notes that we are going to use for the um for the piano roll Okay, when you finish, you can click again on the recording button. It will stop recording, but it will continue to play. Now, as you can see, we have recorded the MIDI region, which is this one highlighted. The playhead is still here. So let's close again these keys. Click here to go back and then click again to go back at the very beginning. So we have this MIDI uh, region now with uh, a number of notes that have been recorded as MIDI events inside this MIDI track, MIDI track number one. Now, if I click play, it will play uh, those notes that have been recorded using the instrument inside the new FM, which is this uh, baby ground, which I have uh, um, selected earlier on. Okay, so that uh, again, we can click back and, um, and you know, you can also position the play ed everywhere where you like and click play like so. And then of course, double click if you want to go back at the very beginning. Um, we also have a looping function here. You can see a start on the left and an end on the right. So if you want to enable looping, you click up here, you see this region highlighted and then you can drag and drop the end. So for example, like in this case, it was play from the left ear and the right ear, these in a loop. Okay, perfect. Now let's remove this looping and now let's double click on this MIDI region, which is a highlighted. Of course, if I click outside, you can see it's not highlighted. If I click on it, it is highlighted, okay? So double click on it and it will open up a, a piano roll for you, which shows you um, on the left hand side a representation of a piano keyboard, which you can also use to test some notes. Provided that here the sound is enabled because you can also disable it, you click on here and then you disable uh, the plane on the keyboard. And you can, of course, re enable it clicking on it again. Now you can see here measures. Okay, you can see agreed with your notes. So this note here, which you can select and it will play correspond to this note here. So standard uh, piano roll. Okay, this one correspond to this one. Okay, we are in select mode. You can see here on the top left, it says select. Okay, that means I can select multiple notes like so, All right? I can uh, remove the selection, then I click outside. Of course, I deselect any notes because I clicked in a place where there are no notes. But I can still select a note, like so. But in this case, I select um, 
uh, each note individually because the select mode is off. I can also click and hold and then, and then uh, uh, move up and down. You can see that you have a scrolling like so and also left and right. If you find that annoying as you are doing some work, click on the lock here and then it doesn't work anymore. You can see you cannot uh, scroll up and down anymore. And of course you can unlock it if you want to. And that, that is handy particularly if you're working tirelessly on uh, a long production, so on long creations, and um, sometimes you, you can create a small accident just having the on um, scrolling or panning. Of course, you can click select here, then you can click and hold, and you can have the lasso function like so, and it will select all the notes that are touched by these rectangle that uh, you are selecting. You can see that sometimes the scrolling gets in the way. That is why they put that uh, option over there. Again, click outside to uh, remove the selection. Again, click each note like so to select the multiple ones. Now, if you select a note and um, you see on the right hand side, there are these arrows, click and hold like so. And um, you can uh, change the length or duration of the particular note. Again, go back at the beginning, click play. Now, if you don't see everything, of course, you can just uh, zoom, pinch in and out using your fingers, and you, therefore you can see all the notes that are playing as well. Okay, equally, if you select a note, as I just shown a moment ago, you can click and hold, and you can see these vertical and horizontal lines, and then you can drag the note. As you're dragging left to right, it doesn't play because it's the same note in terms of position on the keyboard for the piano roll, but if you move it up and down, you hear the new note. Of course, if it is enabled, right? Like so. Okay, and um, of course you can select the multiple notes and then of course move them together, which is um, really um, great. You can also click on erase so you remove them and you have a fantastic undo function and also redo function. So undo, undo your last action and then of course redo, uh, redo uh, the, the, the action. Um, so you can go back and forth in history. So um, again, take these notes, make it longer. I make a mistake, okay, undo, goes back to the original. And then I think, no, nah, perhaps it was right, redo. And then in, it is back where it was. Or I can change my mind again to undo it. And you can see uh, messages at the top as well. Now, if you remove select mode, you cannot create notes. Now, if you click on draw, and now and you have a draw mode active, so you can now create note. Now I'm clicking and let go the um, the button on the mouse. But if you click and hold, then you can move to the right and change the length or duration of that particular um, note, which therefore allows you to uh, create longer notes. Now by default, the notes that is created is based on the grid here. So click on the grid and you can change it. So you can say go to a quarter and you can see it's changed. So when you create a note, it will be for a quarter or you can say go half again. You see the grid line disappearing um, and then you can create notes with a longer duration by default. Of course, you can also have these uh, um, off as well. Okay, you can see now it's more granular in terms of movement. So it's not snapping to, um, to the grid, which is selected. So that is useful. And so remember, you have a grid here, snap in, which you can turn on and off. So you can snap the duration and movement of nodes as you create them or indeed move them as well. Now, when you have a node selected like so, you can also transpose it. So you have selected there. So you click transpose. You can, for example, transpose it up a semitone. Then you click OK. There you go. It's gone up a semitone. You can decide to transpose it, for example, zero there, but uh, down an octave. You click OK. It moved down an octave in terms of the position on the keyboard. Now you can click on copy. It will uh, show now the paste button. So you can go anywhere else, like um, 
in this position there and then click paste and it will repeat the note there now you can also do that for multiple notes so you can say select these notes and then i click copy then i move up the playhead here then i click paste and it will copy all it will paste all uh, the notes which were selected so you can act that on multiple um, notes as well additionally if you have a longer note like this one you can position your the playhead somewhere in for example in the middle of that note okay you have that selected you can click split and what it does is split that note into two notes from the left of the playhead and the right of the playhead and indeed now you can select them individually and move them as well so it's um, it's really it's really handy now each note is playing now uh, but what i can do is i can select the number of notes and click select first so let's say i select um, um, click on hold and I select um, all these notes here then I click mute here and then if you click outside you see that those notes have a gray uh, color underneath here and in terms of velocity it says velocity here is representing the velocity of each note or the volume which means they will not be played so Of course you can undo that or you can reselect them and then pressing on the mute button again to actually unmute them it's easier to actually select undo okay back to the beginning of play. okay so that is uh, um, pretty straightforward now you also have an option for quantization here so if i if you double click by the way somewhere where there are no notes you will select all the different notes then what you can do you can select the quantization or the um the, and the subdivision that you want to actually use to align um notes in terms of uh, positions so let's say 16 for now that's fine then you click on quantize and you can see they are moving to a line to a quantization of uh, 1 16th a subdivision. Or you can say I go a little bit higher, 1 8th, quantize again. You can see they are moving the corresponding uh, position in terms of subdivision. Or you can say uh, quarter, quantize again. You see they are all getting all aligned to subdivision of one quarter. Now, you can see that or not, depending on the grid that you have visible here in terms of the line okay and you have a lot of other uh, different options here you can for example also including the end there as well okay so click quantize so you can see also the end of the notes is being quantized to the subdivision to the nearest subdivision that uh, um, is selected in terms of how, um, um, how it determines if there are overlapping subdivision or if it's closer or not with subdivision that is depending on strength that you have selected here which of course you can change and uh, which will affect if the notes are quantized or not based on how close they are to that subdivision of course you can also in have a, a swing and you have also a auto mode as well which is um, really handy now in terms of other things on the left hand side here you can click on velocity okay and then what you can do you can take a note uh, select it right and then, and then you can uh, um, click here as well, and you can change the um, uh, the velocity here, which is uh, which is really nice. Or the volume, okay. You can also select, uh, of course, uh, multiple notes, um, right? So you can see here, I have that note selected without the select mode, and I can go up and down as I'm holding and I'm changing the velocity. Instead, if the velocity here is not on, when I click and hold the move up and down, I move the note. So now you know what the velocity here mode does. Equally, you have an XY mode here. When it's active, you can move the note up and down only. No left and right. You can do the same on X move horizontally, but no up and down. And then you can also change the length. So you can go here and move up and left and right. And you can change the length. It doesn't matter if you're moving up and down. So you lock it, which is really, really good. Finally, here on the bottom left, you have a um, symbol which says velocity. Click on it and um, it shows up um, a zoom 
for the velocity of all the notes which are visible in the piano roll. But you can also select other controls like the pitch bend, aftertouch, etc., etc., control messages, which I will do a dedicated tutorial to explain how that works, and that is also related to um, automation, which I will explain later on. Of course, when you finish, click on the X and you can go back to the main view. Okay, I hope you enjoyed um, these introductory tutorials more for a beginner if you never used the piano roll inside the cue basis uh, for a MIDI track. See you next time. Bye.